I remember I, I used to have Radio 2 on. And uh, the woman I'm talking there about Wally, she said uh, the stone talks to her. And I just remember thinking to myself, when it starts talking to me, that's when I'm going to pack in. <laughs> but I do a lot of work in absolute middle of nowhere, where all you see all day is just sheep and cows running about. And once you start talking to them, it's time to pack up for the day. Dry stone walls are durable constructions. They can stand a long time because they have the ability to move and adjust slightly to prevailing wind, to snow, to ice. If I pull this stone out and then inside the wall, these are the small stones called fillings, which pack inside and help to support both faces of the wall. The walls, as you can see, just looking down the valley, the walls are amazing. When you just look at the patchworks of all these little fields, and all this is dry stone walls, and all that stone were dug out by hand with, with crowbars and dragged with horses and sledges. It's just, even though I do it for a living, it still amazes me today. Whoever built them all, the man hours, the work that went into it. In the Yorkshire Dales National Park, it's estimated there are some 5,000 miles of dry stone wall. The earliest walls here are medieval. The puzzle is, why has this wall got this arrangement of top stones? It's almost certainly a device to stop large predators such as wolves. Walls like this go out of use around the same time as historical records suggest wolves go extinct. This wall may be built as early as six, seven hundred years ago. Your best stone gust at front and all, all your small stones go in middle and what you're aiming to do is, is bring your wall up with a slight camber or batter. It's all held together with just common sense and hard work and building them strong and right. I suppose a dry stone wall will last well, I suppose these has been up hundreds of years. If one I've built ever fell down in my lifetime, I'd be very upset, like. Without the wall, this would be an open and bleaker landscape, but there is a significant cost in keeping this wall network up, and increasingly, this is going to be a challenging undertaking. In hundreds of years, it'll still be stood there. I suppose nobody will remember me then, but my work, my hard work, my sweat, my blood, I'll, I'll be still studying in these walls, I hope, and still doing a job as well, still doing a, a job, a practical job. 